Back in 1973, my father, Stan the Man Stasiak, became the fifth wrestler in the history of the WWE to become WWE Champion. And since that time, there has never been a father-son duo to ever hold that same prestigious title. Till this very day, it's never been done. I could still be that man. Hi, I'm Sean Stippich. Some of you know or remember me by the wrestling character I used to play on World Wrestling Entertainment and World Championship Wrestling as Sean Stasiak. To all my chiropractic patients, I'm known as simply Dr. Sean. Every morning when I wake up and I get ready to go to the office to see my patients, I'm putting the suit and tie on. Yes, it's very gratifying and very fulfilling to be Dr. Sean and to, to take care of so many people and to help the quality of their lives, to have a healing art and to be able to make a true difference in people's lives. And over the last few years as I've developed the superhero character come to life. The character's name is Phobia. It means face your fear, overcome your fear, take control of your life. But you see, as I defined the character, I realized that it was a direct depiction of who I was as a man growing up my whole life. The fears, the challenges, the anxieties, all of that stuff, having to overcome all of that and channeled it into a theatrical character. And now with this new vision I have with this character, it's so fulfilling to be able to connect with these kids, to make a difference in their lives. I'm really big on anti-bullying. I haven't exactly been away for the past 10 plus years eating ho-hos and drinking six packs. I happen to be in the best fit shape of my life, not just physically, but mentally, and most importantly, spiritually. This wrestling business, this wrestling blood, it's in my blood, it's in my veins, it's my DNA, it's the cloth that I was cut from. I can't deny that. I can't deny the fact that I am Sean Stasiak, the son of a famous wrestling father. Stasiak! But I'm my own man. I'm my own man, especially today. I am Sean Stasiak. I'm a second generation wrestler. I'm a world class athlete to this very day. I happen to be in the best fit shape of my life. I've got a focus. I've got a purpose. I've got a passion, a fire that burns deep inside. This is my sanctuary. This right here is the glue that's kept me together all these years through the thick and thin the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. Losses, successes, wins, you name it. This, over the years, has what's kept me together. This is more than just a physical means of putting my body through a workout. This is more than that. What's more important is it stimulates my mind mentally. And most importantly, it is an inward reflection of who I really am a spiritual sense, if you will. There's never been a father-son duo in the history of the WWE to become champion. The man that you're looking at in your screen right now can make that history. You see, I got a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of heart, a lot of fire. You know, I've been away for 10 plus years from mainstream wrestling television and more in particular, the WWE. You know, in that 10 years that I've been away, I've learned a lot about myself, a lot about life, a lot about the world, the most humbling and trying times that I have ever faced. You see, I had time to reflect back, not just on my wrestling career and realize the mistakes that I made, where I went wrong, but you see, that's all, that's all past, that's all history. We learn from our past mistakes, you see, and it should only make us stronger people. And you see, in that time, I not only reflected back on my wrestling career, but I reflected back on my entire life as a man, as a person. I reflected back to my roots, my family name, my family wrestling roots by the name of Stasiak. When I saw that footage of, of my father and I playing around and playing with the belt and holding it up and embracing that, you know, I had not only tears in my eyes running down my face, 
but I had goosebumps and I knew at that very moment that I had to share this with you guys. I had to share this with the WWE Universe. This footage here is not scripted. It's not a storyline. It's not made up. This is the real deal. You see, I paid my life dues in this wrestling industry by traveling up and down the highways and byways of life. This right here, sitting next to me, is uh, one of my father's famous robes that he used to wear to the ring. Um, in particular, what really holds in my memory is uh, wearing it at Madison Square Gardens when he competed against Bruno San Martino, Pedro Morales, just to name a few. You know, uh, it, it's really an honor uh, for me to put it on and wear it. There's been something missing, guys, for the last 10 plus years. You know, every day that I put the the suit and tie on, I look in the mirror, I look in my eyes, and I, I just can't deny the fact that, you know, I'm Sean Stasiak, and this wrestling blood will always be in me. It's part of my DNA, it's who I am. And although I have many elements and many hats that I wear that I have a passion about, uh, the wrestling bug or the wrestling blood that courses through my veins is something that's very near and dear to my heart. I've got a healing art in my hands. I've, I've changed a lot of lives, physically and spiritually. And it's very gratifying and very fulfilling, but there's been something missing in my life for a long time now, for many years. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make the bold statement that I've been keeping quiet for the last two years, and that is, I just had a fear that if I were to reveal the fact that I could still make WWE history, and if I were to become a WWE champion, I'd link the history books with my father's being the first father-son duo to ever hold that title. And perhaps that was a promise that I made my father before he passed away and make that history. Back then, I had the tools, I had the raw ability, I had the talent, but I didn't have the direction. I didn't have the focus. I didn't really know who I was. I didn't know who Sean Stasiak was then. But you can rest assured with everything I've been through the last 10 years, all the trials and tribulations, all the struggles, all the voids, all the pains, all the hurdles that I've had to overcome on so many different levels, you can rest assured that that's not the same guy, because it's not. What you see right now is a Sean Stasiak that is real, passionate, authentic, and has taken 10 plus years, a 10 year chapter, to be in Dallas, Texas. I'm so blessed to have had this chapter, this chapter entitled, I Just Kicked Your Ass. But that's okay, because by getting my ass kicked, guess what? I'm a stronger soul, I'm a stronger spirit. I'm a Sean Stasiak that's full of fire, passion, a vision, and he's all about making history and setting his own legacy. America loves a comeback story. My story is real. What you see is what you get. Sean Stasiak, 6'4", 245 pounds, in the best fit shape of his life, full of piss and vinegar, that can make WWE history. You want a comeback story? You want to be inspired? You want real? Let me into your hearts, and together we will do this. Maybe I did make that promise to my father before he passed away but I couldn't live with myself any longer if I didn't do at least this, to make that statement and reveal it to the world and showcase this authentic vintage footage that you can't buy anywhere. This is real, guys, and I wanted to share it. I wanted to share a piece of my history, my father, his legacy, and share a piece of my family with all of you. I hope to be seeing all of you soon or vice versa. I want to say God bless.
Oh, I forgot to say a couple things. You see, America, they love a comeback story. My message real simple. Face your fears, overcome your fears, and take control of your life. Never give up, never die attitude, never say never. you got a dream, a vision, a goal. You aim to the stars for that goal. And if you happen to fall short and land on the moon, that's just okay too. And if you happen to fall flat on your face, something of equal value or greater will come your way. But it's the fact that you give 123% every single day, and you can look yourself in the mirror and in your eyes and ask yourself, did I F the dog, or did I give everything I had 110%? Because all we have is so many limited days. The power of now, not the past, not the future. The power is now today, ladies and gentlemen. God bless.